therapists, all kinds of people. We, we even have the first ever black financial therapy department where we are digging deep into cutting edge research on money mindset, uh, everything from financial anxiety to uh, the ability to work together as a group so you can build wealth together as a group. Uh, the poweronomics philosophy is all about groupism and group work. And so we are not capitalists because uh, it's in, in fact, um, our economic philosophy is probably more a socialist communist, but it's not really it, it labeled. You can't label it because we end up uh, being able to make uh, as much wealth as, as a capitalist would. But we do it in a way that is ethical, right? Because capitalism is unfortunately very harmful. Capitalism is the reason that your uh, healthcare system is so bad. Capitalism is the reason that they sell you fast food that is going to kill you. <laughs> Give me a yes in the chat if you understand what I'm saying. Capitalism is the reason that uh, that we have a lot of problems in our society. So we don't want to be capitalists up in here, but we also don't uh, need to walk away from money as if wealth does not matter. Uh, we are here to build uh, a strong community by building strong individuals and building strong families. Uh, we educate our kids on wealth at the age of six so that they'll be ready to dominate when they are 26. Uh, we don't wait until the last minute. We don't react. We are proactive. That is the philosophy we have in the Black Business School, and that's why we're the best on earth at what we do. So anyway, let me hop in and, uh, and just tell you guys uh, that, that I'm about to start. I'm about to pull some slides up, and uh, we're just going to get going, man, because I, I, I'm really excited about uh, this discussion we're going to have, and, uh, and I want to introduce you to a methodology that uh, I think is one that uh, is life changing. Uh, it's not just something that I talk about from a theoretical standpoint. It is something that I practice. Uh, and from a personal practical standpoint, it's something that I do uh, in my own life. Uh, this is how I make my money. This is actually how I make my income, the bulk of my income. And so I'm going to share some of this with you and introduce you to some ideas that you may not have seen before. Some of you have are, maybe have seen it. Some of you haven't. Well, let me just tell you why I'm super excited about it. All right. So let's jump in here. So I want to talk to you guys about how to make money without working. Uh, you know, that's something that um, that we as black people, I don't think we get exposed to very often. Uh, but one thing you should understand is that uh, the majority of the uh, wealthy Americans in this country that are making lots of money, they don't get up and go to work every day. Uh, they don't do nine to fives. They don't have a boss. They don't report to somebody uh, the, in, in America right now to be in the top one percent of all income earners. You have to make about a little more than half a million dollars a year. That's what I just saw. That was the last piece of data I just saw today. So you have to make half a million dollars a year to be in the top 1%. A lot of those top 1%, they don't get up and go to work every day. They don't just have good jobs. They have good investments. And so I'm going to introduce you to uh, an investing model that I use that uh, I um, apply from the PhD that I have. Uh, I got my PhD at The Ohio State University. And uh, these are some things that I put together based on uh, what I understand about financial markets and how money can be extracted from financial markets. And I did this because I love my wife and I love my kids and I want to leave a legacy for my family. So here's, um, uh, so, so why are you here? Well, the first reason that you're here is because uh, you wanna learn how to generate passive streams of income using stock options. That's the goal for today. We're gonna talk about how to generate not just income, but passive streams of income. Passive means you're just, Chilling. You're not really doing anything. You're, the money's just coming in. And, uh, and stock options is something that you may have heard people talk about in the media, but they talk about it wrong. They introduce it wrong. People are applying it wrong. And I'm going to explain that in a second as we move forward. Next, uh, you want to level up your life. Uh, give me a yes in the chat if you want to level up. Everybody in here that wants to level up, that's doing things to uh, put yourself in a better position, that where you want to level up your kids, you want to level up yourself, you want to level up your spouse, you want to level up your situation, whatever that situation may be. I don't care if you're the very top. Uh, you know, they say Michael Jordan said in his book that if, when you stop growing, you start dying and none, none of y'all did. Y'all are 100 percent alive and, and growing and thriving and pushing and striving. And I commend you for that. Uh, well, you're also here because you want to invest in a way that's safe and affordable and impactful on your family finances. A lot of investing happened during the pandemic, and a lot of that investing was very bad. Uh, that investing uh, led to a lot of people losing money. Uh, they saw this when the stock market started to crash and crazy things started to happen. Uh, and a lot of people were investing in, in weird crypto schemes and whatever. And, and I feel bad for those people because uh, they didn't understand that what goes up can come down. And a lot of things that went up did go down. And so uh, you want to invest in a way that is safe, affordable, and impactful. Uh, also, what else, uh, what else might you want to do? Well, uh, you might also want to leave a legacy of generational wealth. Uh, how many of you want to leave something behind? Uh, you know, I, I, I hope that you're in this category. We're all about legacy. Uh, part of my legacy personally is going to be the Black Business School. 
uh, I want to let you guys know uh, when I die, I will leave millions of dollars to the board of trustees at the Black Business School, and I will give them specific mandates in terms of what our core mission is. And uh, I want to be the founder of a university. The same way John Harvard started Harvard University two or 300 years ago, I'm starting the Black Business School now. And I'm, I told him, I said, I just give me a little statue in front of the, the building and <laughs> just kind of don't forget that I was here and, and build on what we started. Uh, because if you don't leave that legacy, then uh, everybody after you is going to have to start all over again. So we're all about legacy. We're all about institution building. We're all about power. We're all about seeing that family as an institutional piece. Even if you don't have kids, uh, that doesn't mean you can't be a parent. Uh, even if you don't have a biological family, you can work with. That doesn't mean you can't have an economic family. If you don't have a family and you're here by yourself, that's okay. We're your family. I got you. Like when I see you at the convention, I'll give you a hug because I got you. We are family up in here because I know that not everybody thinks the way that we do. And I want to encourage you uh, in your desire to build a legacy for the people you love. All right. So here are some lies that I was told as a child. These were things that um, somebody told me that just were not true. A lot of economic lies are given to you when you're a kid, and these are lies that keep you broke. These are lies that keep you lies that keep you in the struggle. Uh, these are lies that keep us stuck on generational curses. And uh, one of the lies that I got, tell me if you ever heard this one, uh, that everybody has to get a job. Did you grow up kind of thinking, like when somebody, when you told somebody you wanted to make money, maybe your parents, uh, and they didn't mean to curse you like this. They didn't know what they were doing. They didn't know what was going on. They didn't know that they were doing this to you. But how many of you heard like, okay, when you want to make some money, well, you better get a job. Get a good job, boy. You better grow up and get a job. Good job, get a job, get a job, right? I heard that too. I heard that a lot, that you have to get a job. And, and I will tell you this. I don't teach that to my kids. And I don't say you have to get a job. I'd say, I'd say you have to pay the bills, <laughs> right? That's what I say. You have to find a way to pay the bills. So uh, if I give you a head start and I pay some bills in advance for you, then you can go your whole life and not have to even pay the bills. You know, you definitely got to go to work. So, so this idea that everybody has to get a job, that is a false idea. That is a lie. That is a myth. That is something that uh, we were told maybe because we were slaves or also because America is a capitalist society where they convince a segment of the population that you got to go to work in order to pay your bills. That is not true. Uh, also, how many of you heard this? If you don't work, you don't eat. Like, boy, if you don't work, you don't eat. Anybody heard that? If you don't work, you don't eat. Uh, OK, so that is not true either. You know, now uh, work is important, you know, when it comes to building things like I work to build the institution, uh, I work to, um, you know, do things with my family, I work to uh, write books and stuff like that. Uh, you know, you guys know my new book, The Ten Commandments of, of Black Economic Power, I had to work to write that book. But this idea that you have to work in order to eat, that's simply not true. Uh, as I mentioned to you guys, most of the people that make the most money in this country are the ones who work the least. Uh, what they focus on doing, unfortunately, some of them is they focus on getting other people to do the work for them. Uh, I heard a billionaire who said this once, and he said that the secret of being a billionaire is not how hard you work. The secret to being a billionaire is how hard you get other people to work. Okay, so uh, if that statement, if you don't work, you don't eat, that is simply not true. Don't believe that anymore. Uh, you have to work if you don't have any capital or you don't have any money. But if you have capital money, you don't have to work in order to eat and you can eat well uh, by making certain moves. Uh, the, the third myth, let me know if you've heard this one. Uh, you have to have money in order to make money. If you ain't got money, you can't make money. Anybody ever heard that? You got to have money to make money, right? Anybody heard that one? Well, that's that's a common myth too. A lot of people say that. And there, I can see where people are tempted to say that, right? Because it does seem that it's easier to make money when you have money. And that is true. If you have money, it is easier to make money If you, you know, unless you blow it, you know, if you do something crazy with your money. Uh, but, you know, you don't actually have to have money in order to make money. That's that's not true. That part's not true. Money is one type of capital. What you really have to have is you have to have capital in order to make money. Uh, what is capital? Well, capital is anything of value that you can extract wealth from. So that means you can you can make money from stocks. You can make money from your real estate. You can make money from your human capital, your time and energy. Uh, there are plenty of people out here that have no money that are able to make plenty of money because they have something that other people want. They have something of value that they can sell, offer to the world that ends up helping them make money. This is why uh, one of the mandates in the Black Business School that we ask you to pursue is to make sure that every Black child in your, in your sphere of influence knows how to start a business by the age of 12. Because if they know how to sell something and they can see value and see wealth and see capital, they don't have to have money in order to make money. They know where the capital is and they can convert that capital into money. So this idea that you have to have money in order to make money. That is not true. That is absolutely false. Do not let anybody ever tell you that because that is not true. All right, so what is a stock option? Let's talk about stock options. But first, before we talk about that, 
I want to ask you guys about is, is some of you have been studying in the Black Business School uh, in some of our stock, stock options programs, but it, but it never hurts to kind of refresh your thinking on some of this. Uh, how many of you, give me a yes in the chat, how many of you know what it, what it means to have options? How many of you know what it feels like? Uh, give me a yes if you um, can, if I say, oh, you know, he's got plenty of options. Do you, do you know what I mean when I say that? How many of you know what it means to have options? Give me a yes in the chat. And I want you to think about what that feels like. We have options. You can do a lot of stuff. Uh, you feel wealthier. You may not even have any more money, but you got options. Like if you're dating, like you know, you're a pretty girl and 10 guys are trying to talk to you, you, know, you got options. That feels pretty good, right? Now I want you to think about how you feel when you don't have options. Well, that sucks. <laughs> it's kind of like slavery. You know, that's what slavery is. Slavery is being stuck in a world without options. Uh, a lot of us uh, become slaves to corporate America and have to go to jobs that we hate because we don't have options. We don't. If we had options, we would pursue those options, but we don't have any options, so we're stuck doing whatever Massa tells us to do, right? So, so, so ultimately, uh, from a psychological standpoint, you guys know we've done a lot of research uh, in our Black Financial Therapy Department on uh, you know financial uh, anxiety, financial depression, things like that. And one of the things that we found is that uh, people who don't have options are more depressed. You know, and this is simple and it's true, right? So uh, if you want your kids to be happier, which I think is an important goal for kids, that's a nice goal. You know, they're not going to fight you. You know, if you tell your child to be a doctor or a lawyer, they might just rebel just because kids are rebellious. But if you say, I want you to be happy, they're not going to fight that. Who would, who would get mad at you for saying, I just want you to be happy, right? But well, then you have to define what happiness looks like, right? So that's the thing, got to define happy, what happiness looks like. And then one thing that they would agree on, even if your child is seven, is they'll understand that you're happier when you have plenty of options, right? Well, so well, how do you get options? Well, education gives you options. Um, investing gives you options. Uh, being financially secure gives you options. Being intelligent gives you options. Do you understand? So you can guide them in the direction you want them to go without telling them what you, what, what you want them to do, right? So ultimately, we all know what it feels like to have options. Now, so stock options are basically one type of option that's out there. It's a, it's a financial version of, of, of the concept of options. So you already understand what a stock option is. I just need to kind of nail down uh, the financial theory so you kind of understand exactly what it is from a financial standpoint. So an option, uh, to, to use the more technical definition, uh, is it's an obligation, or excuse me, it's the right to do something, but not the obligation to do it, right? So that means you can do it, but you don't have to do it. So for example, right now, I have the option of jumping out my window if I want to but I'm not going to do that. You know why I'm not going to exercise that option? Because it's 20, 30 degrees outside. Me and my wife went running today and it is freezing out there. I mean, my butt was so cold when I came back. My hands were so cold. It took me a while to even warm up on the keyboard, right? So, so, so an option is something that I could do, but it doesn't have much value to me right now to have that option because, you know, I don't want to jump out the window. But what if conditions change? What if the house caught on fire? Right. And I and I was locked in the basement and the whole outside of my office was on fire. Well, then suddenly that option to jump out the window becomes very valuable to me. I want I would pay money for the, the option, the, the, the right, but not the obligation to jump out that window. Right. Because now the option means something because I need to exercise that option. You know what I'm saying? So a financial option is kind of the same way. It is the right to do something, but you don't actually have to do it. It's not the obligation. So, for example, with stock. With a stock option, you might say, I have the right to buy your stock between now and next Friday. And, you know, and I can buy it uh, at a certain price. I can buy it for $65. Now, the price may not be $65 yet, so I may not exercise that option. Why would I buy a $65 stock from you when I can buy it on the market for $58? Right. So if the stock price is below the, the, the price that I've agreed that I could buy it from you for, then I'm not going to pay that. But what if the stock goes way up? If suddenly the stock goes to $150. Well, then suddenly that option to buy it at 65 is a very valuable option. Give me a yes if you're following what I'm saying. Give me a yes. Let's stop right there and just sort of focus on that definition. And give me a yes if you follow what I'm saying, what that means to have a stock option. Let me see. I'm going to look at your responses here in the chat uh, just to make sure we're, we're, we're you know, we're, we're, we're moving and grooving together. OK, good. Uh, and I, I get excited. When I get excited. I talk a little bit fast and I hope that's OK. Uh, but this stuff really does excite me. I'm not pretending. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, so we know what stock, what it means to have an option. We, we know what it means to have an option when it comes to stock. Uh, it's the right to do something, but you don't actually have to do it. Well, uh, every option has a buyer and a seller, right? So a lot of times, for example, uh, this might happen in Hollywood. Like, let's say Shonda Rhimes writes a new script. And that script is for a new movie. Uh, a Hollywood studio, no, excuse me, a Hollywood studio may come along and say, look, we don't want to buy your script from you 
but we want an option on your script. So what they then might say is we're gonna sign a contract with you where we have the right to buy your script anytime in the next five years for $2 million. That means you can't sell this script to anyone else without going through us for the next five years. And if you, if it, if it, so suddenly if you become the most popular thing in the world or your script becomes really valuable, it doesn't matter because we have the option to buy it from you for $2 million. So every option has a buyer and a seller. The buyer gives up money to get someone else's option. Right, the seller is receiving money, but they're giving something up. Right, so Shonda Rhimes receives money to give up the right. She gives up her right to sell the the, the script to anybody. She can't sell it to anybody now because she's committed to the person who holds the option, and she cannot sell it to anyone else until that option it either expires or they or she she maybe buys it back and says, "Here's your money. I want I want my freedom back. I want to I want to be able to uh, to to you know sell it to someone else." Right. So when you sell an option, you're kind of giving something away, but you also receive cash because you've given away your right to do certain things. Right. So so every stock option has a buyer and a seller. And the thing is that there's a massive, massive market of people buying and selling options every day. The, the market is huge. There's 40 million options contracts traded every day. And basically, it's a bunch of people that are just kind of gambling on what a stock price is going to go uh, going to be. So, uh, for example, if a stock price is trading at 50, there will be people that will say, hey, I'll, I'll sell you um, the option to buy my stock at 53 by next Friday, uh, but, but you got to pay me $1.50 per share to have that option. That means that, that anybody who buys that option can buy your stock from you for $53. If the stock price goes above 53, then it's a great option. If it doesn't go above 53, then it's not a good option. Right. So this is a massive market. This was one of the biggest drivers of economic activity all throughout the entire pandemic. When the pandemic occurred, there were tons and tons, millions and millions of people that were buying options on stock because what options did was it allowed them to pay small amounts of money to get it on the game, to get it on the action. Right. So that means you buy an option to, you know, I, I pay two dollars a share to buy an option on Amazon stock, which uh, you know, with, with, the, with the price what they call a strike price. That's the price that has to go past before the option kicks in and becomes valuable. A strike price is slightly above the price that the stock is trading at. And uh, if the stock goes above that price, then the value of my option goes up and I can do a quick flip. A lot of people were looking for those quick flips because it was almost like a type of financial crack. It was really was a financial, it was financial crack because think about this. You can invest $3,000 and if things work out, you're making 10 or 15,000 off the $3,000 investment. That's pretty good. But for every yin, there is a yang. For every good thing, there because there's a bad thing. For every light, there's a dark. So the good side is, hey, if it works out, I win. I make all this money. The downside, though, is that if it doesn't work out, you lose everything. You can lose everything. Right. So options uh, more people, a lot of people, millions of people were buying options largely because options are easy to understand and options can give you a quick flip. And a lot of people are looking for the quick flip because we live in a world where people seek out instant gratification. We live in a world where people are always looking for that easy money. You know, we live in a world where people want to make money overnight. They want that fly by night. And, and I'm not in that category. I don't go chasing waterfalls. My cousin's in the group TLC, and she taught me a long time ago. She's T-Boss, Tiana Watkins. That's her name. T Tiana Watkins and TLC, the greatest female group of all time, told me, don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. So I don't buy a lot of stock options. That's my point. And let me explain why. Let's keep going. So options are beautiful. And, and, and then before I actually explain why, let's let's talk about what, like, what options can do, though. Options kind of allow you to season your portfolio. And so options, understanding options is a critically important part of being a good investor. You have your stock. A lot of us know how to buy stock, but the options allow you to kind of calibrate your portfolio, like putting seasoning on food, right? So imagine food that is seasoned properly versus food that is bland, right? Food that's bland, uh, just, you know, it's not very interesting. Food that's seasoned is made just right for you, just the right amount of salt, just the right amount of pepper, right amount of cinnamon, paprika, whatever it is you want to season it with. Options allow you to do that. But the reason I don't buy a lot of stock options is because those who buy stock options typically do not make money. They don't make money. The people that were buying all those options during the pandemic, a lot of these 22 year olds getting on Robinhood, pay, overpaying for stock options on GameStop and AMC and all that, they were losing millions and millions of dollars. They were getting their butts kicked because they were on the buy side of that transaction. 
Now, the thing about this market is that it is what is called a zero sum game. It's like a football game. If you watch the NFL playoffs for every winner, there is a what? Answer in the chat. And for every loser, there is a winner. So if they're losing, if they're on the buy side of the deal, then what does that mean? Who's winning? You got the buyer and the seller. If the, if the, if the buyers are losing, then who's winning? The sellers, right? So I never came into this market looking to buy stock options. I come into the market to sell. I come into market to sell. I sell side. So that's what I did all through the pandemic. That's what I've been doing ever since. That's what I do to this day. I do it every single week. I sell stock options. And that ge has generated me hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's what I do. Now, where, do I, where can I add value? Well, because, you know, having a PhD comes in handy. You know uh, what to look for, what to watch out for. You know where the opportunities are. You know where the risks are, right? So, uh, let, so here's the deal. In this transaction, in this big trade between the buyers of options and the sellers of options, uh, it's like going to a casino. It's like going to Vegas, right? So process this for a minute, right? If, if you're talking about a gambler going to a casino in the house, who always wins? Does, does the gambler typically win or does the house win? The house always wins. The house eventually wins. Now, remember this, though. What, so, so if you know that the house always wins, then why would people go and gamble? Why would people even show up and gamble if you know that the house is going to win? Well, because every gambler doesn't lose. There's that 38, 40, 45 percent that might win something. Right. So everybody's thinking I can be in that group, that small group of winners. But the house is always going to win. That's why companies like MGM make billions of dollars every year, because the house always wins on average. Right. So in this uh, trade. Between, between option buyers and option sellers, you got the gambler, which is a person buying the option, they're seeking to speculate. And then you've got the house, which is me, I'm selling the option because I already own the stock. And I say, hey, look, if you want to buy an option on my stock, you can. Uh, well, I, I want to be the house. I don't want to be the gambler. I want to be the house. So this is a specific type of trading strategy that's built more so for people that want to generate income, who don't, want, who don't need to be greedy, who are not trying to bet bet the whole farm, who just want to have a steady, consistent income that you can rely on, even when the stock market's going down. I made hundreds of thousands of dollars selling options on my stock, even when the stock market was going down, because I do not believe in being a greedy investor. So let's keep going. So, so here's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a couple of things. One, I'm going to show you why selling stock options actually saved my real estate portfolio. My wife and I, we invest in all different areas in real estate, stocks, everything in between. Uh, and I'm going to show you why my options actually saved my real estate portfolio. It was tough to make the income that we'd like to have on real estate. And stock options actually really came through in terms of providing cash flow that supported our real estate investments. Uh, two, why selling stock options is easier than running a business. I have run many, many businesses, and uh, I find that selling stock options is the easiest way uh, to make money I've ever had in my life. Uh, three, why selling stock options is better than simply owning shares of stock. A lot of us buy stock, and it's, it's kind of it's, it can be a little bit dull because you're sitting there waiting for the stock to go up. Well, what do you do when the stock takes three years to go up? What do, what do you do when you have two years of of negative returns in the stock market, you know, you're just waiting. It's it, it, it's kind of dull, right? So let's keep going. So here's um. A house we bought. We, we went to this house in Atlanta and we really loved it. It was a beautiful house and we fell in love with it in a minute. And uh, we bought it and we thought we were going to use it. And then we realized we'd rather rent it out. And we did. So we made it into a rental property. And uh, we had a, we have a nice lady that, that lives there. And, uh, and she's an excellent tenant. And it's cool because the tenant, if you know anything about real estate, the tenant, you know, kind of gives you enough rent money to cover the mortgage. And, and it's great, right? That's why I, I'm a big believer in the ownership of real estate. I love real estate. Real estate ownership is a very uh, substantive sort of investment. It makes you feel good to own a piece of the earth. It's all, all that good stuff, right? Well, one day I got a phone call and somebody sent me this picture. And this is a picture of the downstairs bathroom. The downstairs bathroom, apparently, because I'm a forgetful professor who's always working on others, doing other stuff. And I forgot to uh, pay one of the bills. So the sump pump backed up because the electricity went out. And when the sump pump backed up, all the downstairs flooded. And next thing you know, we got all this uh, destruction and mold in the basement. And so this, uh, this, this bathroom had to be completely torn out and gutted and repaired. And the mold had to be cleaned out. And then I had to apologize and pay for the neighbor's damage because the water had leaked through to their, their place. And it was just terrible. And here's the thing. 
it wasn't so much just a matter of like the fact that we weren't making any money from the property at this point because all of our cash flow was going toward this repair. It was just the inconvenience of it all. It was a pain in the butt. You know, like I like real estate, but I don't know how much I enjoy being a landlord. I don't know. Give me a yes if you know what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know how much I enjoy like getting a call in the middle of the night because somebody's toilet broke or something flooded. Um, I know you have property managers and stuff out there, but even talking to the property manager was draining, you know, and, and and so so I like real estate, but I tend to be an investor in things like real estate investment trust rather than actually buying property because there's a lot that comes with it. A lot of time, a lot of attention, a lot of energy. It's not that it's bad, though but it's not optimal for me. And also it's not the best way to make money. Um, and, uh, and actually I can even give you an example that, that shows this, but, but yeah, so, so this is, this is what, this is what happened. And so, so one of the things I, I realized is that, you know, I, I, real estate's nice, but it was actually the money I was making from stock options that kept flowing, even when my real estate money stopped. Okay. So also in, in terms of businesses, um, I've had, I've run a lot of businesses and I love running businesses. The problem with running a business is that you can't run a lot of them. Like after you sort of put your heart and soul into one or two businesses, you can't run like 10, you know, and, and eventually you get tired. I don't know if anybody ever gets to the point where you're just tired of always working like nonstop all the time. Even when you're successful, you, you end up being successful and drained. And then you start getting maybe over the age of 40 and you're like, gosh, I don't really know if I want to just work until I die. And, uh, and, and so, so, so that's the downside of, of being this independent entrepreneur is that first you work yourself out of a job and then you end up working harder as an entrepreneur than you did on your job, but you're happier because you're free, right? You got your freedom to make you feel better. And then maybe your business takes off. You learn the strategy of delegation and technology and it allows you to scale and then but then even then you're tired right because you, you kind of are like gosh i don't really know if i want to have to chain myself to a desk every day in order uh to uh get things done so i was kind of working non-stop and um this wasn't bad I, I still do it i still like it but i don't know if that's the best way for me to spend my time i kind of want to hang out with my daughter because she had a choir recital yesterday and i enjoy like doing stuff like that that involves things other than working so uh so i learned that passive income is more enjoyable than active income because if you if you build your capital base you can pursue passive income at a level that gives you as much money as you would if you were out working every day so you don't have to torture yourself in order to make money uh, next, here's the other thing about the stock market that's interesting. So the stock market has been the greatest place on earth to invest. One of the biggest things I'm super proud of right now is the fact that 58% um, that of all Americans invest in the stock market. In the Black Business School, that number is 92%. Sorry, ninety-one point eight seven percent Let me be more precise. So let's clap for that because let me just tell you, that stock market participation, based on my research, is the number one variable that determines whether you're going to end up rich in this country or if you're going to end up struggling in this country. People that are missing out are really missing out, you're really missing out. It's like you're trying to drive the car, but you haven't chosen to put the key in the ignition, or you're trying to drive your car 70 miles down the road, but you keep on getting on a horse. A horse can't go 70 miles an hour like a car. So if you want to go 70 miles an hour, you got to get you a car like everybody else. The stock market is that vehicle that drives people to wealth. The Black Business School students, those of you, I don't care if you have a nickel in your bank account, if you are among that group that has started investing in the stock market, I guarantee that within one generation, your family will have more wealth than 95% of the white people that you know. Right? So this racial wealth gap is largely driven by stock market participation. I put it right there. I put the little cursor right there on uh, August uh, 2009, because that was when a lot of black folks got nervous and started selling their stock and they lost trillions of dollars trillions of dollars because you see what happened to the market right after that downturn. Everybody got scared when the market went down right there in, a, a little bit after 2008, after Obama got elected, but look at what the market did ever since. So if you could have held on, just kind of turned away, held your nose, bought more stock, then boom, you're killing it. You're making an insane amount of money, but you got to see the big picture. You can't get caught up in the small. I'm a big fan of the stock market in case you haven't noticed. This is the number one key to wealth. But here's the thing. Sometimes you have times like this. That's red. Red is bad. <laughs> red means 
that it's raining outside basically it's like financial rain it's not like not like making it rain like at the club where you have plenty of money this is like making it rain like in a bad way this is like toxic rain where money is being lost at a massive scale because stocks are going down major companies are going down and sometimes this can last this rain these financial thunderstorms can last one two three four years so so here's the benefit of stock options what i found that i loved is that stock options allow you to make money even when it rains Right. So even as the value of different stocks were going down, I was still making money by selling my options every week. You know why? Well, because I was selling options to people who thought that the market was going to go up. So the stock is at 60. They buy an option from me where, you know, to, to buy to them where they, that gives them the right to buy it at 65. But the stock never hit 65. So I so they paid me for that option. And I'm like, OK, sure, I'll take your money. Thank you. And then the stock doesn't go up to 65 by the by the expiration date. The clock runs out. Well, guess what? Then I can go back and sell that option again to somebody else. There's nothing unethical about it. Certainly nothing illegal about it. This is the way the game is played. You bet on something that never actually occurred. I am not a person that needs 10 birds in the bush. I just want one bird in the hand. I just like getting my consistent income and knowing that my money is coming every single week, no matter what. That is the beauty of selling options. You can sell options just like you should sell shares of shoes, or excuse me, uh, uh, sell um, pairs of shoes, not shares of shoes, pairs of shoes. All right, so 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 that's so that's kind of what happened. So I, I found that a bird in the hand is better than ten birds in the bush. You know, so option selling is not for people that are super greedy. Uh, it's really for people that just want a consistent income. They want to have some money coming in, some extra cash flow coming in. And uh, and so so for, you know, for example, um, let me let me just uh, actually stop sharing my screen for a minute, right? So let's say that I was selling options on a company like uh, like like Ford. And I'm going to open up my E-Trade account and kind of give you that example. Okay, so Ford is not necessarily the best company to sell options on. The options premiums are not necessarily the highest that are out there. Um, I'm not particularly uh, ecstatic about about you know options on Ford stock. But imagine if I went and I picked Ford. I don't even Ford is not even in my portfolio. You know, so for the, for the students that are in the uh, the Prime program, I, I pick the stocks that I like the most. But Ford is is just sort of this basic average run of the mill investment, right? So let's go look at Ford, right? So if I was to look at Ford stock, um, the price of Ford stock right now is um, let me see here. The price of Ford stock is $12.85. So everybody, if you got a piece of paper, write down $12.85, right? Now, if I wanted to buy an option right now, or not buy, I'm sorry, sell an option right now, today is the 26th. So let's say I go out to February 3rd, so about a week from now, I could sell an option that gives someone else the right, someone else the right to buy my stock for $13 uh, by February 3rd, but they have to pay me for that option, right? Because if I own the stock myself, I get all that upside. That's all my upside. But if I sell the option at 13 with a strike of 13, that means that they get it, they can buy it at 13. I can't, so if the price goes to 16, that's their benefit. I, I don't get that. I sold that away. But what I did get was I got a bird in the hand. I'm not waiting and hoping that the price goes up uh, because remember, stock prices don't always go up. Uh, I just, I own the stock. And yes, you do. You're right, Carleen. You have to buy the stock first, right? So it's like you, it's like owning a piece of land and renting the land to somebody else. So if I sell this call option for 40 cents a share, and let's say that I put up a little bit of money, let's say I put down, um, a let's, say a let's say I buy a uh, thousand shares for $13,000, okay? So I have a thousand shares. I can sell those shares for 40 cents a share. That means I make $400 a week or approximately, let's, let's say approximately $1,600 a month on this stock, $1,600 a month. Okay, now I want you to stick that, that in your mind. That's what I'm making if I own a thousand shares of Ford. So if me and my family get together say, and save up $13,000 and we buy a thousand shares of Ford and sell the options every week, we can make about 40 cents per share, which will go up, which would give us about $400 per week or $1,600 a month in additional income that we did not have before. That is, and that income is ours no matter what the price does. Now the price goes up, we make a little bit more money up to 13, but if it stays the same or goes down, it doesn't matter. We, 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 that's our money. Okay. Now I want to compare this to a real estate investment. Now somebody give me um, a price of a house. Let me ask you all this. Give me a yes or no. Do you think that maybe $390,000 is kind of a, you know, a typical house price? What, what, what do you think the average home price in America is about? It's a little over 300,000. Somebody says 799,000, but let's go with $390,000. So we're really going with a cheap house. 
right? We're not really going with an expensive house, but let's do 390. The reason I'm gonna do 390 is because it fits nicely with the mathematics of $13 a share, okay? So, so let's say that I invested the same in Ford stock that it would cost me to buy a $390,000 house. Now to give you a point of comparison, how much rent, if I, let's say I did it as a real estate deal, how much rent do you think I could get on a $390,000 house? Anybody, anybody wanna guess? What do you think? How much do you think I can get on a, in rent? Okay, 2,800, 2,000, 2,500, 1,200, uh, 3K per month says Glenn, okay, 3,000. Okay, so let's go with, let's go with 3,000. 3, 3,000 a month in rent, okay? So I want you to write down and remember those two numbers for me, okay? So I'm paying $390,000 for this home, and I'm getting $3,000 a month in rent. Got it? Everybody with me? Give me a yes in chat if you're following what I'm saying. I don't want to lose anybody, okay? And I'm, I'm doing more, this is what you call arm waving. We, when I was teaching at Syracuse University, we call this arm waving when you don't actually have it on the screen. But this is something, I, this is to, to help me illustrate this point to you. Okay, so I so $390,000 house will make me $3,000 a month in rent. Pretty good, you know, nice income flow. You know, pretty good, all right, great, cool, all right. So now imagine if I took that same, uh, opportunity, instead of buying a $390,000 house, I bought some Ford stock. I bought $390,000 with Ford stock. So 1,000 shares would be $13,000. Uh, 10,000 shares would be $130,000. 30,000 shares would be 390 k You follow me? You follow the logic. So 30,000 times 13 is $390,000. So that's me taking the money from the house and putting it in Ford stock instead and saying, I'm instead of getting money from the house, I'm going to get the money from this, from selling the options on Ford. I'm about to, I'm literally giving you game that will change your life. Okay. So, so 390. All right. So remember how much did that option, how much was I able to sell that option for the February, the one that expires on February 3rd uh, with a strike price of $13. It was 40 cents a share, right? Right? So let's calculate weekly income. 40 cents a share. Hmm. Let's do the math here. Let's let's see what 40 cents a share is on 30,000 shares. So I got 30,000 shares of Ford stock and I am uh, making 40 cents a share. Hold on, let me do the math. Give me a second. Hold on, hold on. Uh, my calculator. Got to pull my calculator up. All right. So so 40 cents a share, 30,000 shares. How much is that per week that I'm making? Glenn says 1,200. Sorry, Glenn, you're zero off. $12,000 a week. How much is that per month? If there's four weeks in a month? $48,000 a month. Now, how much were we making when we were buying, when we rented the property out again? I can't remember. What was that tiny little number? Again, what was it? 3,000? So do you understand why I'm yelling when I say this to you? Do you understand why this gets my like heart racing and my blood pumping like when I'm talking about this? And let me tell you a secret. Ford is not the best place you can actually generate income from your stock options. Like Ford is not Ford is not even in my portfolio because I've got better stocks that are in my portfolio. Do you follow what I'm saying? Do you understand the gravity of what I'm saying? Okay, so so I really kind of like I really hope you will you guys will listen to me when I tell you that that this is a great way to make money. So let me keep going, guys. Sorry, I'm I'm I'm, not, I'm acting a fool right now. So let me let me relax and stop being so immature. But honestly, I think immaturity is a little overrated. So 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 this 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 is this is somebody said this is major in the chat. Yes, it is major. Yes, it's very major. And here's the other thing too. If I own the property, I got to keep up with all kinds of paperwork. I got to got, got to get property insurance. I got to deal with tenants and 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 property managers and 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 all these other things that come with real estate. I'm not saying real estate's bad though. I told you, I own property. I I like real estate largely because I can live in it and enjoy it while I also own it. So I'm not at all saying don't invest in real estate because on top of that you shouldn't have all your money in one place anyway. So you spread your money out. Spread your money out. But this is how I made my money because I can make this money like sitting at home in the bed. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to talk to another person. I don't have to travel anywhere. I don't have to sign any paperwork. I don't have to do anything. I can literally get on my phone. Boop, boop, boop. This is what I do every week. Get on the phone boop, 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 and type in and sell my options. And then I roll back over and cuddle with my beautiful wife and go right back to sleep. That is my Monday morning routine. Let me keep going. Let's keep moving. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I hope you're getting what I'm saying. Give me a yes if, if, if you're really feeling and understanding that just how heavy this is. 
Okay, so so here's my process. My process is very simple, it's straightforward, and, and this is kind of the overview in, in terms of how I get it done. I find my assets that are going to generate my income. I go through and I scour stocks to see how much income I can make from owning the stocks. I measure the ROI, uh, and, and so basically I look and I say, how much do I have to invest to own these shares? To, to, to sell options on stock, uh, th that is what you call a covered call if you own the stock. Now, you can do what they call a naked call, but you can't do it. Most, most uh, platforms will not let you do naked calls. They will not let you sell something that you don't really own unless you have the cash to back it up. So I buy the stock first and then I sell the calls on the stock. Straightforward play. I measure ROI on the different stock. Then I check the risk levels of the assets to look for any red flags. Like, okay, is anything wrong? This is the other thing too. Everything that glitters is in gold. Uh, there are some companies out there that look beautiful, that look like they'll make you a ton of money. And they're, they're, they're literally... Um, there are literally stink bombs waiting to happen. There was one company that I had bought uh, shares in that was making an insane amount of money for me. And, uh, and, and in fact, I was so uh, pumped up when I figured out a process for this back in 2020. I didn't tell anybody for two years because I told my wife when I was running with her, I said, I've never run into an easier way to make money in my life. This is amazing. And I said, I want to tell my students, but I don't want, I need to find out, I need to wait for the other shoe to drop. I need to find out the flaws that are in this strategy. So I spent two years refining this before I mentioned this to anybody. And uh, and so there was this, so one area where I learned a lot was there was a Chinese company called Tekadu and I bought shares in Tekadu and I was make I probably made a hundred thousand dollars from the ownership of Tekadu just from the options alone. Well, all of a sudden the Chinese government came in and they shut down the whole industry. It was, it was an online education company. They shut down the entire online education industry. So this stock price went from 31 to three, just like that. So then I was able to assess and go do the forensics because of course I'm sad. I'm like, oh my God, look at this, whoa. And, and I didn't lose a lot of money because I, I'd already pulled out so much income from the stock already. So it's like, I kind of broke even when I thought I was way ahead. It's almost like being in a basketball game where you think you're going to win by 40 points, but you only win by two, right? Uh, but, but I went back and I studied and I said, okay, what are some ways I could have calibrated that risk and minimized that risk to prepare myself for that type of possible tragedy? So I put together a model, a proprietary model, and you call it a Dr. Boyce model, if you will, uh, PhDs, we can do stuff like this, that allows you to find the highest income generating stocks while also calibrating and minimizing the risk so that you don't end up freaking out because crazy things happen to the portfolio. So uh, then what I do, once I assess the risk levels and measure the, the rate of return, I just sell the options, right? And, and, and you go right to the market. You don't know who the, the buyers are. You just go into the open market. There's a clearinghouse in the middle and you sell the options to the clearinghouse and then they, they, they buy, somebody else buys them on the other side. And then you end up getting your income and I put the income in my bank account. And then when I get that money from the bank account, what I do, is some of it I'll pull out and I'll pay bills with it. I'll send it to my wife and say, hey, pay the credit card bill, pay the mortgage, whatever. And then a, a percentage of it I put into my long-term portfolio of a long-term stocks that I use so I can make various financial moves. I have several portfolios that do different things for me depending on the situation. And then another component of it, I reinvest into my options portfolio. So if I own uh, 800 shares of a certain stock, then next week I might own 900 shares, which is almost like a, a, a landlord that's able to buy more units uh, that he can actually rent out and generate income from. Okay, and I'm able to do this all in my bed while on my cell phone. That, that literally is my life. Uh, I don't talk a lot about my life because it's just kind of weird. I, I'm a big believer that when you make a lot of money, you shouldn't really talk to a lot of people about it because it's just just a strange world we live in. Uh, but rather than people getting jealous of, what, of the fact that we're able to do this, I'm hoping that people will just listen and learn and that we can all be successful and prosperous. And this is what I do. This is how I make money for my family. Now, um, this year, Christmas came a little bit early. The students that were in the Prime program, uh, a lot of you got a text message. I text the students when I'm making a certain move or when I find a special stock. And there was a stock called Madrigal Pharmaceuticals. And I sent out a text to you guys uh, in December saying, look, this, this company, Madrigal Pharmaceuticals, uh, I'm going to make some investments in it. I think it's a pretty good place to make money. And so here, here's what I'm doing. I don't tell anybody what to do. I just say, here's what I'm doing if you want to pay attention or follow along. And this company literally shot up 262% uh, over the weekend. It literally went from uh, about $65 a share to about $280 a share. One of the students made over a quarter million dollars in a weekend. This is real life. This really happened. Uh, if they had not taken the time to invest, 
then they never would have been in a position to have their lives changed in that way. But because they were investing consistently, this big opportunity came along. Every stock doesn't do this, but some of the stocks do. Some of them are, a, are good explosions waiting to happen. Uh, so, so I want to introduce you guys, if, I, if you allow me to, to uh, a program. Some of you might already be in it. Uh, it's called the Dr. Boyce Watkins Passive Recurring Income Machine, or PRIME. So this is something I created uh, around this very idea. And basically what it is, is this coaching program in the Black Business School uh, that we put together uh, just for you guys. And it showed you how to generate safe, passive income by selling stock options. So basically, I become your financial coach in terms of helping you to find the assets that you may want to look at, to calibrate the appropriate risk, to look out for the potential risk factors and the problems that might occur, and to make sure that you and your family are in a better economic position as a result. Now, Here's what you get in the program. <clears throat> Number one, you get access to bi-weekly coaching calls. I gather the Prime students on a regular basis. During those sessions, you can send me questions about certain stocks that you're interested in. I find stocks for you. We talk about the dynamics. We go through option trading strategies. I make sure that you and whoever you bring to class are, are fully aware of how this market works, uh, what the opportunities are, and how to position yourself properly in this market. Number two, you get access to the Dr. Boyce Watkins Financial Juneteenth Investing Masterclass. So if your goal is to also uh, grow your financial literacy and understand investing, I have an excellent masterclass that I put together on investing that will get you started even if you are a beginner. So even if you've never bought your first share of stock, <clears throat> I can give you everything you need in order to understand how the stock market works and how to position yourself uh, to do well financially. Three, you get access to what Dr. Boyce is buying. These are long-term investments that I put my money into based on the research that I do. So every Monday, or actually Sunday night is Monday morning, I go and I do research and I find stocks that appear to be undervalued or appear to be uh, have great long-term prospects based on the research I do. And I make a list and I send it out to the students. You have full access to all that material, all that content. Number four, you get access to uh, family investment support group consultations. My wife is an excellent therapist. She's top of the line. She's been uh, treating patients for almost 30 years now. She is a full professor of social work. She's an expert on things like trauma, which affect black people. And also we've uh, dug in and we created the first ever black financial therapy department in the black business school. There is no HBCU or a predominantly white institution anywhere that I know of that has a black financial therapy department that specifically focuses on the psychological barriers that keep us from building black wealth as individuals or as families. A lot of us have a hard time coming together, building wealth because we can't get along with our cousin or because we're afraid of quitting our job or we're worried that stock market's gonna go up and down and we don't know how to handle it when it occurs. So a good financial therapist can help you in that goal. Uh, we meet regularly. We, we agree to meet monthly, but we typically meet sometimes as much as two, three times a month. So you're, you get free access to that. Also, you get access to a lot of uh, investment club training materials, blueprints, and all kinds of other things we put together specifically for you to help you achieve your goal. And then also, th this is a really big one, you get access to Dr. Boyce Moneymakers. So the same way I showed you that the ROI on selling options on Ford is about like five to tenfold of what you would make if you put that money into real estate. Well, Ford is, is, is a stock, I told you, Ford is not even in my portfolio because there are stocks that are so much better than Ford. But Ford is a free gift. If you wanna go and do it on your own and, and go with Ford, you can literally do that right now. But there are so many other places that, uh, that where, where, where there's so much wealth there. And the thing is, it kind of changes. Every single week, the dynamics of the market change. And this is where my PhD comes in. This is, I, I have an ability to kind of assess market volatility and conditions and various factors across different industries that allow us to pick the stocks that are effective and safe at the same time. So uh, I give every every two weeks, approximately, actually. I don't do this every single, I do this every two weeks. I, I give a list of Dr. Boyce moneymakers. Also, I text uh, send out text alerts to students on new stocks that I'm thinking about adding to my portfolio that, that week. So you can yeah, have access to that. Now, uh, if you add up the value of all these materials, and this is not everything, there's actually a bunch of other stuff that I didn't even mention today because I could keep going all day. Uh, you could get about $8,692 per year in terms of what the cost of that would be. Now, if you go back to when I was teaching at Syracuse University, this is the uh, cost that students at Syracuse pay to learn from people like me, $73,845. I felt very guilty about that cost being so high because when I was teaching on the faculty of the finance faculty of Syracuse, most of my students were not black uh, and most of my black students are still in student loan debt. 
I think that there's a better way. OK, so uh, what we were able to do was create this entire program that I know will not just help you learn economically, but transform your life for twenty nine ninety nine per year, twenty nine ninety nine per year. I think that's massive. Uh, when we survey our students, 90 something percent of you say that you uh, learn more from us than you ever learned in college. I think this is um, uh, this is a, a, this is almost like AI, the way AI is changing the game. Well, you know what? Uh, Black intelligent institutions are changing the game because there are ways for us to get what we need in a way that's specific to what we're trying to do uh, without having to pay all that money that you paid in college. So the cost of the program is twenty nine ninety nine per year. Now, the special offer for you guys today is that you can join right now today for nineteen ninety nine per year, nineteen ninety nine per year. So uh, if I, so I want to ask you this question, basically, based on what I said, I just showed you an, an easy example for this is real data. I pulled this right off my phone. This was not theoretical. This is not me making this up. This is not old information. This was what you could actually buy forward for right now and sell the options for right now. And you saw that the ROI just kind of murders any other type of investment. So I want to ask you this question. Uh, and what if this made you an extra fifty thousand dollars a year? Would it be worth it? Give me a yes or no. With $29.99 as an investment, remember, in order to uh, to build wealth, sometimes you have to make an investment. You thought about that maybe when you went to college, you invested in that. Uh, some of you, for some of you, it worked out. For some of you, it didn't. Uh, you know, with with $29.99 per year as an investment, it'd be worth it if you made an extra 50 grand a year. I say yes. If I could invest $3,000 in something and um, and make 50,000 a year, I would do that investment all day. And it's not even 3,000; it's actually 2,000 because we dropped the price by $1,000 a year. For those who want to sign up, um, if it made you an extra twenty thousand a year, what if you didn't make that much money? What if you only made twenty thousand a year? Would it be worth it? Give me a yes or no. Yes or no. What if it made you an extra ten thousand a year? Would it be worth it? So you invest nineteen ninety nine, you make ten thousand a year. Ten thousand a year is easy. That's I, we can do that in, in in our sleep. And we, we don't just talk to you about how to do it on your own. We talk to you about the process of building a family investment group so that you and your family can pull your resources and then go and make these moves where all of you can eventually quit your jobs. Uh, 10,000 a year, would it be worth it? So here's what some of our students are saying. Let me just give you some real feedback from some of our students. Uh, here's, uh, this is brother Jamar Robinson that I met at the Generational Wealth Conference. He says, I joined your program a few years ago and you've made me a lot of money. Me and my wife have just bought a house in Chicago and we are living a good life. I was on the plantation, get by, now I have options. And he said options both literally and figuratively as he and his wife were about to buy a $700,000 house with cash. And I said, were you always doing well or did you just start doing well when, you started, when we started talking? He said, oh, I wasn't doing well when I met you and now I'm doing well because of you. And that's why I had to go out of my way to thank you. Jamar Robinson is a real person in Chicago. And I hear this from a lot of people. Some of you may already even be in the program that are in the chat. I don't know, but if you are, I hope you'll say something uh, to let people know this is not us uh, sort of, you know, making something up, right? This is something that is actually affecting people's lives. Um, here's another comment. Uh, Taylor Clemens says, I really like when Dr. Boyce showed how to find good stocks and sell options on. He's teaching us about fish and how to fish. And that's the goal. I don't just teach you uh, where the fish are. I teach you how to fish, but I don't just teach you how to fish. I fish for you, right? So I do a lot of these things for you. So you can follow right along with me. So it's like a mentorship program. Uh, when we found Madrigal Pharmaceuticals, we found it because a student came to me with that stock and I looked it up. And if I see a good investment and I tell you guys that it's good to follow, then I'm going to do it too. Because again, I have a family too, just like you. And I want to make sure that we're investing our money in good ways, uh, in, in good places. So ultimately, the sharing of information uh, is extremely valuable uh, in this process. So you have these choices. Here's some choices that you can execute. Uh, you can take no action at all. Uh, and then you're going to end up losing money, right? Uh, you, if you lose $1,000 a month, then you're losing $12,000 a year. Uh, if you lose $2,500 a month, then you're losing $30,000 a year. Right, so the, the, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, economic potential, the word poor stands for passing over opportunities repeatedly. I think I've proven to you, give me a yes if you agree, I think I've proven to you that this is a massive opportunity, that this market is something that you don't wanna overlook. Uh, I've shown you how I'm able to make my money without doing any work because of this market. Right. Uh, another option you have is you can figure it out by yourself. You can you say, you know what, screw this guy. Um, I don't I don't need whatever he's, he's you know offering or whatever. I can do it myself, and that's fine. The problem is that it might take you ten years, like it did for me and a lot of people. 
This is not stuff that, um, you know, you just comes to you automatically. I, I can look at stocks and see certain things. I can see dynamics because I spent 25 years studying this stuff, right? <clears throat> this was not something I knew when I first started my PhD program. This was something I figured out almost 20 years after I finished my doctorate. And getting a PhD is really, really hard. I was the only black man on the planet to get a PhD in finance during the year 2002. So this is almost like a surgeon. It's like heart surgery. You know, it's hard to give yourself heart surgery. But, you know, maybe if you go to school long enough, you can. Um, and then also, you know, the, the doctorate kind of helps. And I've also condensed the process uh, to make it very simple for you. Right. So so we kind of walk through this together and I make sure you have everything you need. And I make sure you don't miss any opportunities that I'm able to share with the other students. Uh, in fact, I even do it all for you. I can dig stuff up for you. So you don't, if you want to learn, you can, but if you don't want to learn, you don't have to learn. You can just say, okay, well, what's Dr. Boyd's doing? Because I don't have time for this. A lot of you are very busy. And uh, and I think that you'll find that this extra income that you would be making the same way you would if you had a rental property or something like that will improve your life. And uh, I want to convince you that this is a good way to go. All right. So uh, let me uh, tell you guys about something just so you guys can know how great the Black Business School is. Like we really are an HBCU for the 21st century. Let me tell you about a net promoter score. Now, a net promoter score is kind of a benchmarking tool for customer satisfaction. It's basically just says, how happy are your customers? How much do they actually love uh, being a part of your business, right? And uh, so the net promoter score, it gives you insights about the loyalty of your customers or their willingness to recommend the business to a friend or to an acquaintance. It's a really important benchmark that's used uh, for major corporations all throughout this country. And you can literally Google any company and look up their net promoter score. So here are some major brands. And I want to, I want us to be compared against the best. This is black excellence. This is our goal is 100% black excellence. My team, that's what we aim for. Uh, we want to be the best institution on this planet. And I know that we are already well on our way. So let's look at some major brands out here and let's look at their net promoter scores. And then I want to compare it to the net promoter score from black business school student surveys. So the net promoter score of Microsoft is 40. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, 50 is excellent, but 40 is really, really good. Uh, the net promoter score of Amazon is 51. That's even better. The net promoter score of Apple is 52. The net promoter, Apple's a major brand worldwide, $3 trillion company, right? Harvard, their net promoter score is 52. That's the net promoter score for Harvard University, right? Now let's look at the net promoter score for the Black Business School. Check it out. Boom. Survey results. Chanel's in the chat. Chanel will tell you in the chat. We didn't, we didn't buy it. We didn't do anything biased. We didn't play any games. We didn't, we didn't make it up. Tell, tell me, I mean, I just kind of, not that I'm bragging, but I kind of would, would hope that you, that we can acknowledge that, take a moment to kind of talk about what we have created. We did this without any government funding, without any major corporate sponsorship, none of that stuff. Uh, this is black owned. This is a black owned institution that has a net promoter score that is, that exceeds Harvard University. We're the best at what we do, period. We get results. We, we're not playing with you. We're not here. We can't sell you a fake degree that's not going to get you opportunities. We have to deliver, and we do. Our team is that good. And I, and I, I didn't do it by myself. We, did, we have a whole team of people that work on your behalf. So I just want to kind of give you that insight to let you know, in case you're kind of on the fence or you're not sure what to do with the Black Business School, we are excellent at what we do, and we're working to get better every day. So let's keep going. So on second thought, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the offer. And we mentioned $29.99 is the regular price. $19.99 is the special price. Uh, for the next 50 people, if you sign up now, you can get in for $8.69 per year. That is the offer that we will make today. If you sign up right now at drboyceprime.com, drboyceprime.com, I'll give you the password in a second. Uh, you can get in for $8.69 per year. So I hope that I've convinced you to at least take a look and give it a try. Think it through. It's drboyceprime.com. Uh, Chanel, type that in the chat for anybody that needs it. And uh, you can um, also, you also receive a 100% money back guarantee. So for the first, first 30 days, if you're unhappy for any reason, uh, you can email support at the black business school.com and get a, not just get a full refund, but if you're not happy, we will give you a $1,000 course, absolutely free. We are that sure that you're going to love it and that it's going to change your life. So how do you get the discount? Let me, let me just show you, let me throw this in here. So go to drboyceprime.com and if you wanna get the annual offer, put in the code word offer 2023 to get the offer and to get the annual discount. All right. And so, let, so the, this offer expires in 24 hours and so it's for the first 50 people. So let me show you really quick how to do that. Uh, if you're interested in signing up with the program now, 
So let me, okay, I see Weberton is saying, yes, I made money at the program and I did the beta test. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's, 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 not, it's not us making things up, right? So let me show you uh, drpoiceprime.com. I'm going to share the screen and show you exactly how to enter the code to make sure that you can get the discount if you want to be one of the first 50 people. All right, so you go here, right? So this is the page uh, doc, um, for drboyceprime.com, drboyceprime, P-R-I-M-E.com. So here's what you do. Up in the upper right-hand corner, you click start making money today. Down here, you've got a monthly option for $349, or you got the annual option for $19.99. Now, remember, your annual fee, if you're in the first 50, goes to $869. So you would hit enroll now. And once you hit enroll now, <clears throat> it'll take you to another page that will allow you to, this is the checkout page. So on the checkout page, uh, you should see, uh, give me one second. Sometimes it takes a second to load. Okay, maybe because I'm sharing my screen. So give me one second, guys. So once you get to the checkout page, you're gonna see, let me, let me, let me stop sharing so I can refresh this page and make sure it comes up. Here we go, okay, it's up now. All right, so maybe it's because I was sharing, it couldn't, it wasn't coming through. All right, so on this uh, checkout page where it says uh, $29.99 per year, and then you get the discount here. There's already a code in here that gives you the discount, right? So if you're not in the first 50, you'll still get a discount. You'll go to 1999 because the code's already there for you. But if you're in the first 50, you can hit remove, add this code, add in uh, offer 2023 uh, with a capital O, offer 2023, all one word, and then you hit apply. And when you hit apply, you'll see the price will drop from 29.99 to 869.71 per year. So you go to Dr. Boyce Prime, use that code OFFER2023, and if you're in the first 50, you can get the A69 offer. If you're not in the first 50, you still get a discount, but it, it's $19.99 as opposed to uh, A69, but it's still much cheaper than $29.99. So that's our offer for today. That's that's literally um, this the, the whole everything. Uh, and so I, I hope that you see just how this works and how great this can be. And a lot of you, again, a lot of students are already in this chat, actually. And so if you are in the chat and you're enjoying the program, I hope that you'll tell others how great this is, because I don't want anybody to think that we're trying to uh, talk them into things. I want to talk you into doing what's best for you. That's what I really want for you. So let me share my uh, slides again one more time uh, in order to uh, mention one more thing uh, for you guys. Now, some of you are asking, is there some sort of a, a monthly option? <clears throat> Well, if you if your money's tight and you don't want the annual discount or you can't take advantage of the annual discount, uh, we did put together a monthly discount. So uh, here's the monthly offer. The monthly offer, the regular price is $3.99 per month. Uh, the monthly price is $155. So now $155 times 12 is about $1,800 a year. So it's still it's, it's, it's higher than the, uh, the $869, but it's still pretty good. So uh, for the next 24 hours, if you uh, if you go to that page, and you go to the bottom and you put in offer 2023 monthly. So put that word monthly at the end <clears throat> with a capital M, you'll get the discount. So what I can do is actually show you how to do that too. So on the page, if you go to drvoiceprime.com and you uh, go here to the top where it says start making money, right here on the right, start making money, it'll bring it to the bottom right here. Uh, this is a discount price that's offered, but the regular price is $3.99. You can hit enroll now, right? And then on this page, and uh, let's see, sometimes the, when I share, it, it, it loads a little slower than when I don't share. So let me unshare. Maybe it'll come up faster that way, the checkout page. Okay, one second. Hey, Micah, can, there we go. I know Micah, Micah and Chanel are actually in the, in the chat. They're, they're part of our team. So if you have any questions, you can talk to them as well. So here, here you see, excuse me, three ninety nine dollars per month. You can hit remove and you can uh, hit apply code, offer 2023 monthly with a capital M. Let's see how I spell that right. Hit apply. It drops from three ninety nine dollars to $155.61. Now that is available again for, that first, for the first 50 of you. OK, so if you would like to take advantage, just go to drboysprime.com. You can take a look now. I'm pretty much uh, almost done. So let me uh, just finish up real quick so we can uh, so we can so I can answer your questions. So I'm sure you have a ton of questions and I, I will answer a lot of them for you. Uh, we, we, I got time. Uh, so I already showed you how. So here's one other little bonus. Uh, if you sign up now, uh, you can get buy one, get one free. So if you have someone but the person has to live in your house. So if you have someone in your house that you would like to also share your login with, 
uh, they can actually share your login and you can both join uh, together. And so you can share your login with, with someone in your house, just like a Netflix account. So feel free uh, to use that option. So don't have two people in the same house sign up. Uh, just one sign up is enough. And that's it. So happy investing. And I wish you guys the very best with that. All right. So let me dig in here. Uh, if you have a question, put your question in the um, Q&A section. Uh, let's see. I see Michael Ruff. How you doing, Michael? Um, let's see. T from Philly. Good to see you. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you have 100 shares of stock when buying options, or uh, you're, you're paying for premiums. I'm new to selling options. Yeah. When you buy options, let's see. Terrence says the code for monthly isn't working. Chanel, can you help Terrence? I, I, it, it just worked for me. So I just uh, put it in there. Um, so if uh, and, and if it doesn't work, maybe it might be a chance you might not be in the first 50. So that's the only way because I, I just did it. And so it, it worked just now. Um, so maybe Chanel can uh, can help you with that. Uh, yeah. So make sure the word try or try the word offer with all caps. Maybe that'll help. But I know that when I put it in there, I capitalized the, the O and then did it that way. Uh, let's see. Latanya says, please do a poll. Who's investing consistently? Only invest in 401k. Have a few stocks and then get discouraged. Does not own stock. Yeah. You know what, Latanya? We did do a survey. And what we found was, um, again, 91 percent of you are invested in the stock market uh, in terms of investing consistently. It was a little less, maybe about 52%, something like that. So you you are you are um, invest. Okay, Darren says uh, offer 2023 did work. Okay, great. Uh, let's see here. If you have a question, put it in the Q&A section. If you put it in the chat, I may miss the question. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see. Josette says, I don't have 10,000 to invest in options. That's really okay. I mean, if you, uh, the thing is, one thing we can do in class is uh, we go over some of the stocks that cost less, where you could buy 100 shares uh, for maybe a few hundred bucks as opposed to a thousand or something like that. And so that allows you to still get in the game without necessarily having to have a lot of capital. <clears throat> also the family investment club component of the prime program is beneficial so that you can actually find some relatives to work together. If you, if you, I've seen families come together and do this and generate a lot of extra income that they didn't have uh, otherwise. So that's something that may be um, an option for you. Uh, how much does it drop down when you put in the code? Uh, if you go to the page <clears throat> and you put, uh, you hit the, uh, start making money now uh, button. It will take you to the bottom, and uh, and it will it you you put in the code. Let me let me show you guys again in case uh, in case you didn't see it before. So if you hit this here and you go to the top, so it says start making money today. You hit this, it takes you down. You hit enroll now, right to do the annual, and then you got to take out the other code. The other code will give you a discount if you're not in the first fifty then you will still get a discount. It just won't be, uh, it won't be the sort of massive discount um, that we talked about before. But uh, when you go up here, uh, and sometimes when I share, it just takes the page, the page doesn't load right away. So Micah, try to look into that if you could see if, if there's a reason why, if it's Zoom that's causing the page, page a little slow sometimes. Um, but anyway, so you go here, right? And you remove this code here. You hit remove, add code, put offer 2023. So you see how I typed it with a capital O, and 2023 is all one word. Then you hit apply, hit apply. Make sure you hit apply. And then it gives you the discounted price. You see that? Okay. Now, if you want to do monthly though, you have to hit a different option on that first page. So on that first page, you're going to hit the monthly option and your, your code changes. Your code is 2023 monthly as opposed to uh, um, offer 2023. So uh, if, I, if I go to the monthly option, then what I would do is pop in here and hit enroll now, right? So that's the monthly option, right? So I hit the monthly option and uh, I guess because my computer's sharing resources, it takes a second for the page to load. But uh, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in offer 2023 monthly, right? And capitalize the O and capitalize the M, okay? But you gotta remember, you gotta go two different routes if you wanna do monthly versus annual. All right, so let me answer some questions while this thing comes up. Uh, some reasons checkout page sometimes takes a second. Okay, there we go. It's all, it's up now. All right. So I remove the old code. I add coupon code and I type offer 2023 monthly, monthly with a capital M. And then I hit apply. Don't forget to hit apply. If you don't hit apply, it won't work, right? Hit apply. You wait for this price to drop and it drops down to here. Okay. So, uh, and this offer is available for the first 50. All right, so, uh, and, and everybody can get a discount that's here. All right, so uh, Corey, welcome Corey. Corey says, I just enrolled for the year. All right, so congratulations to Corey. Uh, uh, and and uh, I look forward to seeing you in class. 
you will be hearing from me via text very, very soon. And uh, Elisa, how does the share work? Uh, you can share with anybody that lives in the same house. Uh, if you're sharing, uh, you know, across homes and that we can't allow just for, you know, tech, tech reasons. But um, if you have somebody in your house that wants to share your login, then that's okay. You can both just have the same login and uh, both be enrolled for one price. Mitt Lewis says I enrolled. Good for you. Congratulations. Debbie, congratulations. Marisha enrolled. Congratulations, Marisha. Uh, who else is in here? Gosh, there's so many of you in the chat that are telling me about the fact that you just signed up. So let's see here. Um, in fact, actually, let me go to the page and just uh, kind of uh, welcome you in as one by one. And I'll also answer your questions. I, I didn't, I'm not just going to sort of talk about this and bounce out. I'm going to hang out with you guys and I will answer questions, any questions you have about the program. Because uh, obviously the Black Business School, you know, we, we can't be what we are without your support. Uh, and we are building an HBCU for the future, uh, except it's better because it runs on lighter financial footing. And it's not dependent on the government, not dependent on corporations. So I want to welcome uh, Siobhan Boykin. Uh, welcome. Uh, let's see, Clue0805. That's your email. Okay. Welcome to you. Uh, Zajed Gre uh, Greenwood. Uh, welcome to you. Courtney. Welcome. L Leroy Lambert. Welcome. James Pierce. Welcome. Uh, let's see here. Bridget. Welcome. Uh, lounge lug lounge and luxury welcome Reggie Mays welcome Cynthia Cargill welcome Trinisha Jordan welcome uh, let's see uh, I saw another name and I missed it Janet Bernard welcome James Smith welcome Sandra Towns welcome Thomas Dobson welcome Anthony Oaks welcome Keldrick Owens welcome Malone at att.net welcome is the email address I don't, I don't see the full name but it's okay it can be M Malone 59 at att.net all right, so let me go and answer some of your questions. And then uh, I, as I see your names, I would definitely welcome you. If I miss your name, please forgive me, but I'll talk to you definitely in class. Um, so, and I spend a lot of time with the students because I really want you guys to get everything you need. Julia says, in one of your lectures, you said to buy your put options first before selling your options. Can you please demonstrate what the strike price should be in the expiration? Uh, you know what, Julius, if you log in, if you go to drvoiceprime.com and you log in, you look under Prime Plus Lectures. And that's the section where all the recorded lectures are. And I did a, a bunch of examples of that. And the put options are important because that gives you your insurance that protects you uh, from the possibility that the stock could go down. If the stock goes down too much, then uh, then that can that can cause a little bit of discomfort because you know you're you're losing the, the value of your equity. So I think of, of selling my stock options like owning a business, where every business that you uh, that you start, you have to buy insurance on the business. Uh, what times and days are classes? Uh, we meet typically on Thursdays uh, at least twice a month. Uh, and uh, also, uh, I do a lot of pop-up Q&As. Um, students submit questions to me. Uh, you guys have submitted a ton of questions. I answer all of them. And then I send the recording of all the answers to the questions to you to make sure that every single question you have is answered. Uh, and also, there is so much stuff there because we record everything. I save everything. So when you go in there, like you log in right now, uh, you will see everything. In fact, a good way to get access to your material if you're doing anything else in the Black Business School is actually instead of you going to drboysprime.com, you can also go to um, the blackbusinessschool.com. And uh, Chanel, if you could type that in the chat so that uh, everybody can see it. If you go to the blackbusinessschool.com, don't forget that T-H-E, then uh, you can actually look under the programs you're enrolled in and it'll have everything you're enrolled in. Uh, we have a great support team that is available. Uh, if you email support at the blackbusinessschool.com, they will take good care of you. They will answer, they will make sure that you're 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 good. Uh, let's see here. How can I get customer service help with enrollment payments? Okay, Kimberly, I think I answered that question just now. Uh, Three thousand is more than enough to get into options, but make sure you understand things like time decay and expiration. Yes, we break all that down. That's very important. Welcome, Philip Hudson. I see that you're enrolled. Derek King is enrolled. He says, "Let's get started." Derek, you can start right now. If you started and you, let's say that you said, okay, I'm so pumped up. I'm going to get started tonight. You can log in tonight and have enough material to go through that, that would last you for the rest of the year. Like that's how much um, good stuff is there. We have the financial therapy sessions with Dr. Alicia. We have uh, all the stuff on how to get started with stock options, how stock options work, different options, trading strategies, uh, all the what Dr. Boyce is buying, all the Dr. Boyce money makers that you can use and implement right away. I, all kinds of the investment club training, how to form a family investment club so that you can make money together. Uh, all this stuff is, 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 available to you right now. Uh, Tramal says, how much cash do you need to get started off investing after you sign up for the course? Uh, well, let's say you buy 100 shares of a $7 stock. 
Well, that means that the, the cost to begin investing will be $700. And let's say that that's still too high. Well, maybe you have a family friend that you can invest with. I invest with my family. I've helped several of my relatives quit their jobs because as a group, we're able to pool our money together and I apply what I know and we invest it and we're able to generate income like that. Now, the thing about options that's interesting too uh, is that it is a, uh, now, now uh, it, options are a um, are more of an income-based investment. They're not so much an investment that is based on uh, capital gains or price appreciation, like where you buy a stock at 50 and you wait for the price to go up and you sell it later. Uh, so a lot of times, you know, with the strategy, it's more about generating that consistent income. That's really the goal. All right. So by the way, Denise, I see you have a question. If you have a question, put it in the Q&A section if you can. That way I can make sure I get because the questions are coming through pretty fast in the chat. So I don't want to I, I want to get as many as I can. So put it in the Q&A section. If you have any trouble, if the enrollment's causing you any issues, Chanel is in the chat. I think Micah's in there, too, and they can definitely help you uh, get set up. Micah, if you're in there, say something that way I can. I, I know Micah's in there. I know Micah's around. Uh, let's see. Daryl says, thanks for this info. Uh, what do you use bar chart for again? Uh, well, that's one of the tools that we use uh, to identify the stocks that we can sell options on. So there are there there she is. I see Micah in there. Micah is a, a brilliant, an amazing black woman that I have the honor of working with. Uh, let's see here. Um, Anita says uh, that it looks like Anita's having some trouble with her enrollment. Chanel, can you help Anita um, and uh, and see see what's what's going on with with Anita's enrollment? Because I, I see a lot of you are enrolling. So. Um, it looks to me like most of you aren't having problems. Sometimes what can happen is that if there's a lot of people coming in at once, the system can get a little clogged up. So um, uh, if, it, if it doesn't work right away, you could try again and, and see, because sometimes things don't you know, respond as quick as we want to. Uh, let's see here. Uh, if the code isn't working, it could be because maybe you're not in that first 50. Um, <clears throat> but there, remember, everybody gets a discount. So there is the 1999 discount that's already like locked in. And uh, and so if you can't get the code to work uh, and you're not in the first 50, that's OK. Uh, you still get a discount. Right. Everybody gets a prize uh, no matter who you are for sure. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Armando, uh, I see you out of Owensboro, Kentucky. Good to see you. Uh, let's see here. Who else do I see? Um, let's see. John Gray says I fund my own IRA. Is it wise to stop funding it to use the money for stocks? My income is the same. Uh, I do not recommend. I, in fact, this is not investment advice but I'm not a big fan of putting all your money into one type of portfolio. So with the options, I don't tell, you know, the students that I, like I, I don't put all my money into, um, into my stock options portfolio. I spread my money out. And remember, even as I showed you guys how selling options dominates real estate investing in terms of ROI, um, I still invest in real estate. I still invest in real estate because I like my real estate. You know, I like my house. I can live in it. It's great. I got a man cave with, where I can watch football games and it's awesome. Um, I like our house in Atlanta. I like our, our, our property in Chicago, you know. And so um, so don't think so. And this is important with investing. Don't think that one investment is the place where all your money needs to be. If you put all your money in one place, I hate to say it, but you could be asking for trouble. Don't ask for trouble. Just get your cut. Get your share. Um, I, I, my goal is not to talk to you guys about investing in a way that is greedy, that's going to have you, um, you know, sort of hungry to just make all the money you can. This strategy is one that generates the consistent cash flow, the consistent income that a lot of you have been looking for uh, in, in your investing process. And it's also not just consistent income, it's passive consistent income, right? So that's different, right? Like if you have a job that pays you a lot of money, that's nice, but you still got to work for that money. But this is money without a job. This is just, you know, this is literally something where you build a portfolio. Up. You can even with uh, like with our kids, I've even talked to them about giving them some stock and saying you can just sell options on the stock. The stock belongs to me, but you can generate the income from the stock and live off that. And if you want to work for someone, you can, but you don't have to do it. Uh, the website is drboyceprime.com. Uh, and, and if you go to drboyceprime.com, you just uh, go, go up to the top where it says start making money now. And then go to the bottom and it'll give you the option of choosing uh, either the annual, um, the annual membership or the monthly membership. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll do another example in a second. So you guys can kind of see what the page looks like. And, uh, and if you have questions, keep putting them in the Q&A section. I, I'm, I'm, I got time. So I'm, I'm going to hang out with you guys and answer questions. All right. So, <clears throat> so if you go here on this page and you hit start making money today, it'll take you to the bottom. You got two choices. You can do monthly or annual. These are the prices, right? So you hit enroll now for, for annual. 
Now, if you, um, now I don't know if <clears throat> that top 50 code will still work, but there's a code here already that gives you a thousand dollars a year off, right? So that's 1999. Um, I'm I think that we've hit the 50 mark for that uh, 879 price, or what, I think it was 871. <clears throat> but <clears throat> if you want to try it, you hit remove and you type offer 2023 and then hit apply. Make sure you hit apply. And if the code still works for you, it'll change this price down here. And uh, if you want to do monthly, then you would hit the monthly option on that first page, right? And then when you get to that page, then you would use a different code. The code would be offer 2023 monthly, all one word, okay? So those are the two, those are two options uh, that you have for today. All right, so let me see here. Q&A, uh, let's, uh, let's see. <clears throat> By the way, if you don't work, you won't eat. It's from the Bible verse, the Thess Thessalonians 3.10. That well-meaning elder is often quoted out of context. <laughs> I didn't know it was in the Bible. I didn't know it was in the Bible. Um, yeah, I, I don't, that's just not true anymore. I mean, you don't, you don't have to work to eat. Um, you know, welcome to capitalism. But, uh, I, you know, and I'm not trying to convince you to become a capitalist. Uh, I'm not really a capitalist myself. Uh, capitalism has a little too much greed in it. Um, but I do believe that uh, if you're going to be in a capitalist society, I think that uh, being economically intelligent allows you to work that capitalism in your favor. And that's what I want for you. Uh, how easy is it to sell your shares, says DeCeleste? It's typically pretty easy for stocks that are so, that are pretty liquid. Stocks that are not so liquid, it might be a little tougher, but for the most part, that's another benefit of stocks over things like real estate. I'm not saying real estate's bad. I like real estate. But if I sell a house, there's a whole process. I got to call a bank. I got to go find a buyer, do all this other stuff, work with a broker. If I sell stock, I just need to pull out my phone and start punching buttons in an app. That's a pretty cool uh, way to invest. Uh, so I like stocks um, ahead of things like even private equity. I've invested in startups. I invested in one startup uh, called TribeVest. And in the startup, my uh, investment was $75,000. It tripled to a quarter million dollars or something, almost a quarter million. And the problem is I, I can't, I, if I wanted the money, I couldn't get my money out, right? I have to wait until there's an exit point, until the company gets acquired or some big investor comes in and gives them enough cash flow where I could sell my shares. And that may take years. So stocks are kind of fun because if you look at Madrigal Pharmaceuticals, the investment tripled over the weekend. Not that this happens a lot. It doesn't happen a lot, but it, but sometimes it does. And you could sell. I sold my stock on Monday and I sold it within eight seconds. So it's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Carolyn says, I'm new at this, so I don't understand. That's OK, Carolyn. If you hang out with me long enough, you'll, you'll, you'll be the you, you will literally if you watch more. I guarantee you this. If you watch more than five lectures that I do you'll be the best investor in your family. And, and I really want you to own that and be proud of that. And I want you to believe that because I then want you, I need you to go back and talk to your loved ones about some of these opportunities that are out there so they can find their way out of the darkness. So, you know, a lot of them want, want better opportunities and a better life. And maybe if they see you making money without going to work every day, they're going to want to learn uh, to do what you're doing. And then the, the trust will build and then they'll start sort of doing some of these same things. Um, let's see, can you clarify what calls and spreads are? Yeah, um, but the call option is uh, it gives you the right to buy the stock. A, uh, a put option gives you the right to sell the stock at a certain price. Spreads are basically where you, you um, engage in two trades at once so that you're sort of buying and selling at the same time so that you're kind of, it's almost like getting on the freeway and then saying, I want to get off at this exit ramp. I don't want to stay on the freeway. So I, I buy a call with a certain price and then I sell the, sell a similar call at a different price and I'm making money between those two prices as opposed to making money all the way up, right? So ultimately, these are some of the strategies in the, in the Prime program. If you log in at theblackbusinessschool.com and go to the Prime program, we cover all that stuff in class, all the materials right there. You can dig into it and learn every single thing you need to know. Uh, Mizan says, when an order gets filled, does that mean you made a profit or do you have to sell to lock in gains? You do not have to sell to lock in gains. There's a million ways to lock in your gains without selling. Uh, you can stop loss orders. You can uh, you can do put options, you do things like that. So don't ever think you have to um, sell in order to lock in your gains. Uh, let's see, where do I go? Mizan says, where do I do proper fundamentals research? How do I know that I'm doing it correctly? Uh, there's a lot of places to do fundamentals research. Um, I think listening to the analysts goes a long way, uh, but you have to look at listen to it a certain way. There's a lot of analysts that have different opinions and you have to know how to kind of um, sort of gather information. The way my process is, is I just take in tons of information. I blend it in, you know, in my head with all the financial stuff that I know. And then I come to a conclusion based on sort of how this information is processed in my subconscious. And then that's where I end up sort of making uh, my personal recommendations to you guys in terms of what I'm doing with my own money. 
Uh, what's the deadline for joining the Prime program in 1999 and what is the promo code? Uh, that deadline's 48 hours, Quentin, so uh, feel free. Uh, if, if, you know, if you want to do the 1999 option, you've got a couple of days to do that. Uh, what is a good dollar amount to start with, says Reginald? It depends on the price of the stock. If the stock is $10 and you, get, you need 100 shares in order to sell options, to sell covered calls, uh, so 100 shares times 10 is uh, $1,000. Uh, let's see, <clears throat> Marvin, is this the same program as introduction to stock market investing? Uh, no, it's not. The stock market investing class, Marvin, is focused solely on stock market investing, the fundamentals of how that works, uh, and, uh, and long-term investing, sort of buy and hold strategies and uh, the dynamics of that particular market. This program is based specifically on income. Income is the goal. That is the goal. That's what we think about. How do we take the money we have and generate cash flow from the money that we have to invest? period. So think of it, I think of it a little bit like a real estate scenario. You know, I think of my stocks as like apartment units that I have and every unit that I own generates a certain amount of income. So for example, if I have um, Coinbase stock and I have a thousand shares of Coinbase stock, like right now I can look in, I can literally, this is the beauty of having an active market, right? So Coinbase, uh, if, if, if I have a thousand shares of Coinbase stock and I sell options on Coinbase stock uh, each week, then I can generate, um, approximately, uh, I want to say, I don't know, let's say let's say $2 a share on my Coinbase stock. So that would be $2,000 a week or $100,000 a year that a person could generate on 1,000 shares of Coinbase stock. How much does 1,000 shares of Coinbase stock cost? Well, 1,000 shares of Coinbase stock um, costs uh, 50, $53,000. So, so there's $53 a share, you get 1,000 shares, um, you can generate $2,000 a week by selling the options on Coinbase stock. This is just, it's a, it's a straightforward play. Um, but what happens is not every stock has an active options market. Not every stock's options pay that well. Also, the stocks that pay well, um, they tend to have risk variables that you want to understand and calibrate, right? So there are some scenarios where a lot of money could be made, but I avoid them like the play because I don't want to be in a situation where I lose all my capital base. So that's where that calibration piece comes in, in terms of being careful. So in a way, you can think of it like, uh, let's say somebody told you you can make a lot of money. Like, uh, here you go. I've been watching this show called 1883. Anybody been watching that show? It's a, it's a spinoff from Yellowstone, and a, there's another version called 1923. And uh, it's about these people back in the old Wild West who uh, are trying to go, uh, they're trying to go from uh, Texas to Oregon because they heard that there's money in Oregon, there's free land in Oregon, right? So they heard that there's all these resources out in other places, like right? maybe there's gold in the hills over there and land, free land over there. But the problem is, it's very dangerous. You know, it's it's like you go out there, you got, you know, you had Native Americans trying to kill you because you're out there messing with their land. Uh, you got, um, you know, the elements, the land is trying to kill you because there's nothing to eat. It gets hot, it gets cold, all this other stuff. You got rivers crossing the river, would, would, you know, would get a lot of people killed. So there's a lot of danger, right? So the only people that were willing to kind of do this sort of thing were typically people that were skilled at surviving in the outdoors, right? Or they were with somebody who was skilled because they didn't know what to do. And then also there would be some scenarios where, um, where you know, where they, where they would say, okay, there's gold over there, but you got to go through those mountains and you don't want to do that because it's too risky. It's too risky, right? But if you know your way around and you have a guide that can kind of show you, then you can actually find opportunities and possibilities that other people can't get. So my goal is to kind of be one of your guides. That's it. Just want to be your guide, right? I, I think I can guide you to where the money is, and I can tell you where the risk factors are, and where the danger is, so you can be careful as you go into this un sort of venture territory and understand uh, how to generate economic opportunities that don't exist in a lot of other spaces. All right. So let's see here. Uh, let, uh, let's see. Cedric says I already have some of the classes. Is there a way I can buy the Prime program without the others? Um, you know what, Cedric? Uh, speak with Chanel. She's in the chat, and she can guide you to support, or and, and they can work with you. Uh, if you're already a student and you're already enrolled in uh, in various programs, uh, you can we'll work with you. We'll work with you to adjust, you know, the, what you're doing. And and uh, we have curriculum advisors that can help you get exactly what you want. Uh, you know, our goal is not to charge every penny that we can charge. We generate revenue because we have people we have to pay and we're building a university. But our goal is not to charge the max that we can charge. You know, we're not like these universities that are charging $100,000, $200,000 a year or, or, or for a four-year degree and all this other stuff. 
Um, our goal is to generate the revenue that we need, but at that point, we will work with you and get you exactly what you want. So never hesitate to email support at theblackbusinessschool.com. That's support at theblackbusinessschool.com, Cedric. That's who you can email. All right, Janice says, hey, Dr. Boyce, uh, I paid $1,000 yesterday for Black Millionaires tomorrow. Expand impact to help my children. I think this uh, this stock option program will annually, let's see, will help me provide a further a future for my children as I'm self-employed and homeschooling. Can you help me switch to this? I've been working with Amani. Please help. Yeah, tell Amani that I said that uh, Dr. Boyce said to work with you and to work out some sort of a deal with you. If you're already in one, uh, then we can work with work with your budget. So have Amani, just tell Amani that I said uh, to be flexible and to get you into uh, into what you need to be into. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see. We, uh, no, we, we do not have, uh, someone's asking, do you have the ability to pay three payments uh, of 290 for the 869? No, that that's the annual deal. That's a massive, the pretty major discount. There's a good chance. Maybe we've hit that 50 mark. So it may not even be available anymore. You can still try it though. You try uh, offer 2023. Uh, in fact, I'll, I'll put the code back up here for anybody that, <clears throat> that needs to see it. Um, if you go to drboyceprime.com and go to um, and put in offer 2023, then um, then you can um, you, you can still try it and see if it's available. OK, wait, I didn't put it. On, I can't put it on my screen. I, I lost my slides. But either way, though, um, if you hit annual and put in offer 2023, all one word, uh, you could try it out. And, and if it doesn't work, there's already a code in there. Just refresh the page and you'll still get the first uh, discount. Uh, we don't have a three payment layout this time around. We just have the monthly and the annual. All right, let's see here. Uh, when does the class meet? Uh, we're going to meet next week, uh, Anita, and we're also going to do a Q&A early next week, uh, just kind of an onboarding process for those of you that just signed up. So um, I'm anticipating Tuesday night. So Chanel, uh, follow up with me and make sure that we set up a class for Tuesday night. Uh, I'm going to be in Los Angeles, but I'm going to set that up so we can uh, bring you guys back in and answer questions for you. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see, Terentia is having trouble putting uh, in terms of where to put in the offer. Uh, Chanel, can you help Terentia um, so that she can kind of see where to put her coupon code? Um, and again, Terentia, I don't know if that discount will still be available because we might have hit that 50 mark, but you can still try. Um, here, uh, Terentia is where you put in the code. So here there's already a code, right? That takes it from $29.99 to $19.99. You see, this is the price that's there, right? So if you want to put in the new code, you just hit remove and you hit add coupon code and you can put offer 2023 and then you hit apply, right? And if you hit apply, then this price will drop and then that will be the price that you'll be you'll, you'll pay to get in. If that does not work, refresh the page and use the discount code that's already there uh, because it's still a pretty good discount. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Nate says, is there a way... I can see this webinar at a later date. I am at work and barely getting a chance to see the first 35 minutes. Um, yeah, Chanel, um, Nate's email address. You know, I, actually what I'll do is I'll email the recording out uh, for you guys to watch. So Chanel, please make sure that I get that done. Uh, Maurice says, does your course show how to set up apps in E-Trade? Yes, we go through all of that. We've already done it, but we're going to do it again. I repeat myself a lot if necessary for those of you that are new to the to the system, new to the program. Delisha says, if I wanna sell options as well as invest in the stock exchange, what is the best program to purchase? Um, I think Prime, Prime covers a lot. Prime covers a lot of stuff. So Prime will get you what you need. The Prime students are kind of the Prime, the premium students of the Black Business School. So, you know, we take good care of you. You kind of, you know, our VIPs and we love you. And we wanna make sure you're good. So uh, if there's something that's not there that you'd like to see or have access to, we can either give you access directly or at a substantial discount. So it's kind of like a black card for the Black Business School. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, Barbara's asking a good amount of money to start. It depends on uh, what price uh, the stock is. Uh, so a $10 stock would mean you'd have to buy 100 shares. That would be $1,000. Uh, but if it's an $80 stock, then 100 shares would cost uh, $8,000. Uh, if the money's tight, then I find working with family and groups can be extremely beneficial, and uh, that's how it can work. Now, I want to give uh, a welcome to Terencia and Chanel and Betty Barnett and Adrian Simmons and Flora uh, Relaford, uh, Craig Key, Karen uh, Swain, Vicky uh, Fantano, Walton, uh, Khadija Rauf, congratulations to you, Bashan Kulan, congratulations, Dustin Nelson, congratulations, Taya1711, congratulations. Janny Choice, uh, congratulations. Fred Gauthier, uh, congratulations. So uh, let me uh, go back in and answer some more of your questions. Um, 
let me see here. And just so you know, the website to join is drboyceprime.com. And to, uh, if you wanna still try to get the annual discount, um, use the code uh, OFFER2023, all caps, um, and uh, you can get the discount, okay? So those of you that maybe came in late uh, and aren't sure where to go, just go to drboyceprime.com, P-R-I-M-E. All right, so let me read more of your questions here. Um, let's see, Becky says, how do you decide, decide the price per share to sell the stock? Um, there is no specific price per share to sell. You sell stock for three reasons in my view. I sell, or how about this? I still sell stock for three reasons. And welcome, Richard. I see you in there, Richard. Um, I sell stock for either what they call liquidity reasons. I need the money to do something, right? You were going on a trip or something like that. We want to pay the car off. Um, I sell the stock if I find a better investment, right? Like, uh, for example, when I saw that the stock options approach was a great income generator, I sold some stock to invest in stocks that I could sell options on so I could generate income. The third reason that I might sell stock is because I just want to diversify, right? So uh, when during the pandemic, when stocks were kind of overpriced and the prices were going up, 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 I ended up um, selling stock to go buy property. Because as I mentioned to you all, the options are a better ROI than real estate, but I, have, I, I will never, 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 never tell you not to invest in real estate. I believe deeply in the ownership of real estate. Um, so do not think that I'm saying that real estate stinks. I'm just saying that from a cash flow generating perspective, this is better because the money's better and the amount of work is less. And there's a lot, less, I, I'm into the anti-stress. I, I, you know, I, I don't like a lot of stuff to do, to be honest with you. I like stuff that's kind of simple and straightforward. Um, how do you decide the strike point? Well, Becky, if you log in, uh, that all that's covered. There's, there's material for all that. Um, the way I would pick a strike price is typically... I pick, a, I sell out of the money call option. So if the price is say 70, I pick a strike that's slightly above that. So I can still get a piece of the action, but I'm not, but I'm selling everything above that price. So I might pick a strike of say 73, which means that if the price goes up to 76, I get $3 of that, that's mine. And then the rest goes to the person who buys my stock at 73. Um, how do you decide how long to offer the option? I like weekly because I like because it reminds me of like getting a weekly paycheck and I pay myself weekly with my options. But you can do monthly. You can go out six months. That's another cool thing. Sometimes you can sell long term options. So if you need a bunch of money at one time and you saved up money, you own a bunch of stock, you can sell six months worth of options. You know, now, mind you, during that time, you can't sell your stock, but you can generate income from your, your stock options. Uh, let's see here. Um, Next, let's see, Freud says, oh, what's the code? Uh, I think I think we already put that in there, Freud. Uh, and uh, Chanel can help you with that for sure. The code is OFFER2023, all one word, OFFER2023. That's how you get the annual discount if, you, if you're in the first 50. If you're not in the first 50, there's already a code in there uh, that gives you a, a discount, not, not the 50, first 50 discount. Uh, and if you want to do monthly, the code is OFFER2023 monthly, OFFER2023 monthly. Uh, let's see. DW says, what is the best plat platform to use? Because I've used Robinhood and lost about $200. Um, I like Robinhood, but I keep my money in different exchanges. I don't put my money in one place. So um, I like Robinhood. I like E-Trade. Um, I think things like Fidelity and TD Ameritrade are pretty good. So uh, also Acorns and Stash aren't bad either. Uh, let's see here. Um, Dustin, do you have a lot of shares of stock to get premium options prices per share? Do you have to have a lot of shares? No, I mean, but the more shares you have, the more money you make, right? So it's like um, with real estate, the more property you own, the more rent you can charge. But if you own a little bit of property, you can still charge a little bit of rent. You just you can just kind of build on that. Uh, is Webull a good platform? Um, I haven't used Webull, but I've heard good reviews about it. I don't think you'd be wrong to try Webull out. Um, I don't put all my money on one exchange, so I try to spread it out. Can Canadians join? Yeah, I think Canadians have access to a lot of these same platforms and stuff like that. And, and money, Canadian money is kind of similar to American money. So uh, it's it's really the, the concepts and everything are the same. Uh, the main exchange you may uh, be trading on may, uh, may differ a little bit because you're in another country, but, but there's still so much you can learn. We have students from Canada. We have students from all over the world, London, all kinds of places. Uh, let's see, when are the classes? The classes, the next class will be next Thursday. However, we're going to do a Q&A Tuesday night. Um, let's see, with selling options, do you have to understand what a delta, theta is, et cetera? I do explain all that. You don't have to understand all those things, but it does help. Uh, do we have to understand everything as if we were buying an option? Um, no, you don't. Uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit like driving a car, right? You can drive a car without understanding everything there is to know about a car. You don't have to know everything about how a car works or, or you know, what a combustion engine is or anything like that. 
but it does help. It helps, right? You know, you're a better driver if you understand the car, but you don't have to know everything. Uh, Jamila says, Dr. Watkins, what's the difference between stock options and binary options? Well, stock options basically uh, operate on what, it, what you might call a continuum, whereas binary options operate on, on like a binary or yes or no framework. So think of binary like a light switch, either it's on or off. So a binary option means either, either the option's in the money or out of the money. It's not about magnitude or how far in the money it is. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit in the money or deep in the money. It's just binary. It's like a basketball game. It doesn't matter if you won by two, two points or if you won by 20. All that matters on the win-loss column is that you won, right? So that's, that's kind of the difference with binary options. Uh, Lakeisha, my 12-year-old son got stock from Cash App for $2. Should we invest more money in the stocks? If not, uh, what can he do to make money? Uh, I would... I would I would invest consistently, right? Uh, on voicewalkins.com, there is the $5 a day plan, which is highly recommended for any of you that have children. If you do that consistently, then you can um, build a ton of wealth for your kids. I mean, it's a ton of wealth. So um, I would personally um, look into something like that. I think that might be a great way to make sure your child is in good shape long-term. And it doesn't take a lot of money right now to kind of do something like that. But the key thing with the two, the $5 a day plan is you can't sell your stock. You got to like, this is for the kids. This is not for us to take it out because, you know, we got to pay a bill or whatever. This is the one thing we sacrifice for, for our children. And this becomes their big power play. So your child is 28, 30 years old. They've got, you know, $200,000 in the bank. They're ready to do amazing things. They have plenty of options in life. Uh, what dates and times do the classes meet? We typically meet at eight o'clock, Barbara, typically on Thursdays. Uh, sometimes we have extra classes, though. Uh, we do the financial therapy sessions <clears throat> with Dr. Alicia on Sundays. Uh, and also, I text you guys and send stuff out to you all the time. You'll probably get a text from me like very soon uh, in the next couple of days. I'm going to send, in fact, you'll get an email from me probably tonight or tomorrow. And then you'll get some text messages uh, as we connect on text. And I'll let you guys know kind of what's going on. Uh, and uh, don't forget, if you want to check out the program, if you just came in and you want to take a look, just go to uh, drvoiceprime.com. That's drvoiceprime.com. If you'd like to get the discount or the, the first 50, I, I don't know. I have no idea if we've hit the first 50 or not. I think we might have. But if we haven't, you can uh, use that code OFFER2023, OFFER2023 on the annual or OFFER2023 monthly on the monthly. And uh, even if you're not in that first group, you still get a massive discount. So feel free to take a look at that. All right. So uh, Troy says he, he's, he just enrolled. Congratulations. Good for you. He says, um, will the 26th be the same as every month or will it start on the first of every month? Um, you know what? Uh, we don't meet necessarily just on the first of every month. Uh, we, we meet uh, typically on Thursday. So I think that's what you might have been asking. I hope I didn't get that question wrong. But uh, if I did get it wrong, forgive me. Just, uh, when you come to class, you can ask, ask that question again. Uh, and you guys will hear from me soon. We'll, we'll, we'll set up another class. Uh, have you heard of Nadex? Asked Jamila. No, I have not. I don't know what Nadex is. Is that a, is that a company or I don't know what Nadex is. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Nicole, Nic Nicole says, uh, Chanel, when, where will the dates and session specifics be posted? Uh, if you log in, uh, if you go to the blackbusinessschool.com and you log in and you look under your enrollments, you'll see something called Dr. Boyce Prime Plus Lectures. That's where every lecture is stored. Right? So every single thing lecture we do, we store it under Prime Plus Lectures. Okay, guys. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and close us up for tonight. I think we started an hour and 45 minutes ago. I hope that this was a beneficial session for you. I want to congratulate all, a lot of you that, that signed up. Um, I'm looking here at some of your names. I see Karen Swain. Uh, I see Craig Key and Flora Relaford, Adrian Simmons, Betty Barnett, Chanel, let's see, Terentia, Quentin, and Vincent. Congratulations. And this offer will be up there. Uh oh, for the next. Uh, wait, hold on. Did I leave the Zoom? I hope I didn't leave the Zoom. There we go. Okay. I thought I hit the wrong button. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I was like, oh, gosh. I hope I didn't hit the wrong button. Um, yeah. So uh, I'll send you all an email. If you missed uh, this presentation, um, Chanel, just remind me to make sure I send out an email with the recording so everyone can watch the recording. Uh, everything that we talked about is available for the next 24 hours. Those of you that signed up, congratulations. Uh, you will get a message from us very, very soon. We'll get you started right away. There's material in there right now. You can get started right now tonight. And, uh, and so if you're feeling pumped up, jump right in there. And, um, and I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And I hope that this was worth your time 
And uh, this that was the goal. My goal is to change your life every time I talk to you. And I appreciate the fact that you listen to us. And uh, we love you guys. And we are building the best institution on the freaking planet. And we're not going to stop. Can't stop, won't stop. So God bless you guys. Have a good night. And uh, I'll see you guys.